Welcome to Hitchhikers TV. Yeah, boy! Before watching this video, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and hit on the bell icon to be notified whenever we published a new video lesson. At the end of this video lesson, the learners are expected to define electromagnetic waves and list several types. Highlight the various applications of electromagnetic waves. Recognize the benefits and potential dangers of electromagnetic waves. What are electromagnetic waves? Electromagnetic waves are waves that can travel through a vacuum, like in space. This is possible because they're not vibrations in an actual material, they're fluctuations in electric and magnetic fields. Examples of electromagnetic waves include radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. Radio waves have the lowest energy and frequency and the longest wavelength. Gamma rays have the highest energy and frequency and the shortest wavelength. All electromagnetic waves move at the speed of light, including light itself. In fact, physicists often use the word light to refer to any kind of electromagnetic wave even ones we can't see with our eyes. Applications of electromagnetic waves Every part of the electromagnetic spectrum has multiple applications in our everyday lives, and many of those applications involve technology. Radio waves are used for communications, that's why the thing in your car is called a radio. But they're not just for FM and AM radio. They're also used to broadcast television signals, and they're how mobile phones work, your voice is sent through radio signals. Radio waves are also used for radar, which is why both words start with the same three letters. Radar is extremely important in military operations and can also be used in speed cameras and speed guns. The term radar itself was coined in 1940 by the United States Navy, as an acronym for radio detection and ranging. Radar is pretty special, an MRI scan uses a form of radar to look inside the human body, while NASA used it to calculate the distance between the Earth and other planets. Microwaves have probably the most obvious application, in a microwave. Microwaves can be used to heat and cook your food. Since microwaves aren't that different from radio waves, they've also been used for communications, especially for extending TV signals to larger distances. Infrared waves are what comes out of remote controls. Infrared is also a type of wave that transmits a lot of heat. When you put your hand near to, but not touching, something and it feels warm, it's because of infrared waves coming out of it. All hot objects produce infrared. In fact, you're producing infrared waves right now. Infrared waves can also be used to create heat-sensitive and night vision cameras. Ultraviolet waves have their uses too, but they're also a bit of a pain. That's because the sun produces a lot of ultraviolet and is a common cause of skin cancer. When powerful enough, UV can damage your skin. Getting a suntan might be a fun-sounding use of UV, but because of the risks, it's a bad idea. More positive uses include the fact that UV can sterilize and disinfect medical instruments, or anything else, for that matter, killing bacteria and viruses. And UV also lights up fluorescent materials, highlighter pens are brighter and more useful because of this effect. This property can be used to check if money is real or counterfeit by hiding things in it that light up under UV.
X-rays are electromagnetic waves that can be used in aptly named X-ray machines to see inside your body and diagnose various diseases. They can also be used to kill cancer cells. Gamma rays are the highest energy, highest frequency, and shortest wavelength waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. Gamma rays can be used to kill living organisms, sterilize medical equipment, and treat cancer. They're also used to create pictures of people's insides by having them swallow a radioactive source of gamma rays. Gamma rays have to be used carefully, because they can be dangerous. Let's sum it up, electromagnetic waves are waves that can travel through a vacuum, like in space. This is possible because they're not vibrations in an actual material, they're fluctuations in electric and magnetic fields. All electromagnetic waves move at the speed of light. Examples of electromagnetic waves include radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. Radio waves have the lowest energy and frequency and the longest wavelength. Gamma rays are at the opposite end of the spectrum, with the highest energy and frequency and shortest wavelength. Radio waves are used for communications and radar. Microwaves are used to cook your food. Infrared waves are used in remote controls and are emitted from all warm objects, allowing them to be used to create heat-sensitive cameras. Ultraviolet waves come from the sun and cause skin cancer but can also be used to sterilize and disinfect medical instruments, to make fluorescent materials light up, and check that bank notes aren't counterfeit. X-rays can be used to take pictures of the inside of your body and to kill cancer cells. And gamma rays can be used to kill living organisms, sterilize medical equipment, treat cancer, and take images using radioactive tracers. Terms and facts to remember, electromagnetic waves, electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light. Radio waves, radio waves travel using the longest wavelengths and lowest frequencies. Microwaves, microwaves are primarily created like radio waves to heat and cook foods. Gamma rays, gamma rays have the highest frequency and shortest wavelengths. Ultraviolet waves, ultraviolet waves are naturally created by the sun and can cause skin damage. X-rays, X-rays are waves that can pass through the human body and take pictures of damaged bones and organs. If you like this video, we will be glad if you could give us a thumbs up and see with your comments below and share this video lesson. If you like this video, we will be glad if you could give us a thumbs up and see with your comments below and share this video lesson. We hope to see you on the next upload.